In this video, we're going to learn how to image a virtual object using a converging lens. And we're going to use both the imaging equation and ray tracing. So to set this up, let's say that our lens has a focal length of 10 centimeters and our object is at a distance of negative five centimeters. And remember, any object that is to the right of the lens, this is called a virtual object, and the distances are taken to be negative. And in this problem, we want to find the location of the image. We want to know whether the image is real or virtual. And we want to know what the magnification of this system is. Now, if you've never dealt with virtual objects before, you might be scratching your head thinking, what on earth? How do I deal with a virtual object? And how did it even get there in the first place? What does a virtual object even mean? Virtual objects often happen when I'm in a multi-lens system. So there might have been a couple lenses over here to the left that we just can't see. And what happens, or what a virtual object is, is those previous lenses sent out some rays that if this new lens weren't there, those rays would have converged at this object. That's all a virtual object means. It means that there's some previous lenses that would have formed an image at this location, but I happened to insert a lens here. So this isn't where the real image is. I need to find where the image is, and I can do that by treating this like my object. It's where the image would have been without this lens. So our task is to find what actually happens to these rays as they go through the lens, and that will tell us where our image is. So I've already drawn them, but our favorite two rays to choose are a ray that goes straight into a lens, because that, can, that will intersect the optical axis at the focal point, and a ray that goes straight through the lens or through the center of the lens because that ray is just going to go straight on through. So if I take that as one of my rays, what will actually happen if it goes straight through the middle is it'll go straight through the middle and it'll just keep going. So this ray was actually originally correct. Uh, it does actually go all the way through and it will end up here at the top of the object. But what about this ray, the one that goes straight into the lens? Well, here we know what actually happens is when this ray goes straight into the lens, it will bend so that it intersects the optical axis at the focal length. So here I said the focal length was 10 centimeters. So it'll intersect somewhere, it'll intersect the optical axis somewhere around here. And where these two rays intersect, this is where our image is located. So we've done the ray tracing, so we can answer one of our questions. Uh, is this image real or virtual? Well, because this is, I'm going to call di, or the distance of my image, because this is to the right of the lens, and I have real rays that are intersecting to form the image, the image is going to be real. So it's not going to be virtual. Even though the object was virtual, my image is real because di is positive. It's to the right of the lens. Remember, by convention, di is positive when it's to the right of the lens and negative when it's to the left of the lens. Do is the opposite. It's positive to the left and negative to the right. Sign conventions are some of the most confusing things about ray tracing. In this case, because I have a positive focal length, this is going to be a converging lens, so rays will bend towards the optical axis when they go in straight. And because di is positive, my image is real. So now if I actually wanted to solve for di, and I do because we want to know where the image is located, I can use our imaging equation. So 1 over f is equal to 1 over do plus 1 over di. Or I can solve for di, 1 over di, or let's say di, is equal to 1 over f minus 1 over do, all inverted. Now if I plug in f, so f was 10 centimeters, so 1 over 10 centimeters, and I plug in do, now this is important, do is negative 5 centimeters, because this is a virtual object. So 
I have 1 over 10 minus negative 1 over 5 or plus 1 over 5 all inverted and this is just 10 and there's the centimeters on the bottom so I can pull the centimeters out and this is just 10 over 3 centimeters or about 3.3 centimeters and so it looks like we did a pretty good job of ray tracing because we indeed got that, you know, that looks about 3.3 centimeters away from the lens if this is 5 centimeters away from the lens. So we found our image location. This was one of the three things that we wanted to find. So we found our image location. We know it's real. Now the only thing left is to find the magnification. Now we can do that with our good old friend, the magnification equation, which is just equal to for a single lens, negative di over do. And so we can plug in di, which we have here. So this is 10 over three centimeters. And it's negative because there's a negative sign out front divided by do, which was negative five centimeters. And the centimeters will cancel, and this will end will end up the negative signs will cancel, and this will end up being equal to two thirds. So we have now everything that we were looking for: the magnification, the location of the image, and whether the image was real or virtual. And we did it by choosing rays that looked like they were going to converge at the object if I were looking at it from the left, but they don't actually converge at the object. And that's where our image is formed. So this is how we deal with virtual objects. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind the scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.